In a previous video, we had a look at the Vive system from Lutron, an extremely simple and reliable commercial lighting control system. In this video, we're going to look at another control system from Lutron, but this one has been designed to be used in a residential setting. This is the RA2 Select control system from Lutron. Now, what's really exciting is that Lutron have recently added a new product to this range that brings a whole new dimension of application possibilities to this system. Now, we'll get to that product in just a moment, but let's first of all just have a really quick overview of the RA2 system. So this system consists of four main parts. First of all, you've got the main repeater. This is like the brains of the system that everything communicates with. This gets connected to your router via an ethernet cable. Then you have the inline dimmers and switches that act as load controllers. So one of these would be wired to an individual light or to groups of lights that you want to operate together. The control from the system take the form of occupancy sensors as well as the Pico controllers that we're already familiar with from the previous video but they come in a couple of additional forms that can be used with some extra really useful features that this system has. Of course, the sensors and the Picos are all completely wireless, making installation a breeze, and as well as wall mounting options, they also come with these lovely pedestal options, which means that they can be placed on things like bedside tables, desks, dining tables, and kitchen islands. Of course, the wireless element can strike fear into our hearts when we think about batteries running out and needing really expensive replacements. But don't worry, Lutron have you covered. These devices have a guaranteed 10 year battery life. And when the time does finally come to replace them, they just use standard CR type batteries. So there's no crazy expenses involved there. And finally, the RA2 Select system also has motorized blinds, or as we're supposed to call them now, window treatments. So let's see a quick demonstration of how it works. Operating this Pico controller will turn the lights on and off, as well as provide dimming control. This controller here will control the blinds. So I can open the blinds, as you can see there, or I can close the blinds, or I can roll them down to a position that I want them to be in. Using this little middle button here, I can actually set it so that they go to a preset position in the middle that you can set yourself, which is absolutely perfect for something like sash windows where you want the window open, but you don't want the blinds to flap in the breeze. Now, I really, really like these blinds. I think they're fantastic. Now, we all know that getting a cable to a window reveal for a blind can be a bit of a nightmare, especially when working on an existing property. So the blinds are available in both a hardwired and a battery powered version. The battery powered version just uses regular D-type batteries and have an estimated operating life of three to five years with the blinds moving up and down twice a day. That is just incredible. The system is totally compatible with Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Honeywell Home and their Wi-Fi thermostats, as well as a very clever platform called If This Then That. And as well as that, it's compatible with your Sonos sound system as well. But let's talk about the exciting new addition to the RA2 Select range. It's this device here. Now, this just looks like an extension lead, but in the middle of this extension lead is this little box of tricks that performs the same functions as one of the inline dimmers. However, it can simply be plugged into a 13 amp socket outlet, and then a floor lamp or a table lamp can be plugged into the other end and controlled in the same way as the other fittings by a Pico, or as we'll see in a moment, the app. Pairing the lamp dimmer to a Pico controller is really easily done in the app. In fact, I've already paired this Pico controller up previously and it works really well. As you can see, I can turn the lamp I've plugged into the lamp controller on and off and I can also dim it up and down. It just opens up a whole new world of control possibilities and scene setting as it simply and easily connects fittings that might have previously been quite tricky to add to a smart controlled lighting scheme. It can handle loads of up to 150 watts of LED or 200 watts of incandescent and as small as one watt with its trailing edge dimming technology, which is just perfect for today's energy efficient loads. Now to really unleash the power of the RA2, we need to have a look at the app that Lutron provide completely free of charge for this system because it opens up the use of some great other features like geofencing and scheduling. The app is completely free and it's available on the Play Store if you're an Android user or the App Store if iOS is more your cup of tea. After installing and logging in, you'll need to start adding some devices to your app. Now this couldn't be easier. All you've got to do is just go to your settings here in the top left corner and you'll find the option there to add a device. So I'm going to add this Pico controller just to get the point across and also because I'll need it to show you something else in a moment. So select add device 
and then it brings up the screen where you choose the type of device that you're going to add to the app. We're going to be adding a Pico remote, so we press that, and we're adding a two-button remote. So if you're adding a different kind of Pico, you can select that across the bottom there. However, in this case, we're going for the two-button, and it says just to hold down the button there until the little LED in the corner of this flashes, and then you've got your device paired there really nice and simply i need to tell it that this is located in the living room so that's where we are because we've kind of simulated a living room here press the button marked next there nice and simply so just press that and then you can fill in the information about it so we'll say it's in the living room and we'll call this the uh, home and away there we go go to the next and there we go, we've had that added. So we can now select I'm done adding devices and that'll take us back to our main menu screen there. No problem at all. Once that's completed that process, it just takes a second just to program the system to update it. But that is now part of the system and ready to operate with this bit of kit, which is really, really clever. Coming back to the main screen, we can see there a nice feature showing you how many lights are on and how many uh, blinds are open on your system. Now by clicking on this, this gives you a couple of extra options. So if I click on the blinds there, you can see that you can open or close all. A great idea if in the evening you want to close all the blinds in the house or open them all in the morning. We also have the devices menu showing what's connected and selecting one of them brings up an interface that gives you control options. Selecting a connected Pico essentially gives you a similar interface and allows you the same control. Opening a light, so let's go to the table lamp one we can see there it gives us the same control of on, off and dimming as well. And you can see there that the reaction time on this is absolutely brilliant. So if we go full brightness, there it is. And if we go off, it dims down really quickly. There's just a couple of great features that I want to show you now. If I go into this one marked main lights here and hit edit device, I can actually trim the lighting output. Now what that means is that I can put an upper limit on it as a percentage. So you can set it never to go above a certain brightness, but it's also got a lower limit for dimming as well. And that's going to be really helpful because we all know that dimming LEDs can get a little bit tricky and at certain levels they can start flashing and flickering. But by setting this point above that level where that happens, we can make sure that those lamps never get to that stage. It's factory set 11, but you can change it as shown here. Hit test and save once you're happy, then come out. And you can see here some other options where you can change the room that this device is assigned to. You can change the type of light that it is and also even the device icon. Hit the tick once you're happy and we're back to the main menu. We can do a similar thing with the blinds where we can set the upper and lower limits for them. Just go to your blind that you want to adjust, hit edit device and then set shade limits. Then it's just a matter of selecting say close limit and then you've got to lower your shade down to the point where you want it to be. So we'll get that down to just above the sill here. So just tweak that until it's just above the sill, nice and easy. So we want that. So it's not resting on there, but just hovering above it. And then just hit the tick in the top right corner. And that will remember that that's as low as you want it to go. And then it's just a matter of repeating the process with the open limit as well to make sure that you get it up to the point where you want it to be. Once you're happy with that, you can just come back out again, hit the tick in the top right corner. And once again, we're back then to the main menu. So that's nice. So you can see from that that commissioning is just a complete cinch for this system. Now you can go to scenes and you can set the blinds and lights to go to different levels for different occasions, but we can also bring in some excellent other features. Let's create a new scene where I want the lights to dim, I want the blinds to drop and I want some music to play. That's right, music to play, because the RA2 Select system connects natively to your Sonos speaker system. It's amazing just how it sees the smart speaker and just connects to it. So now you can get it to play specific music in different scenes from the RA2 Select system. Finally, we just want to mention scheduling. This great function where we can set up times for lights to go on, off or dim and blinds to go up or down. That's really useful for setting, say, bedtime routines and fresh morning wake up calls. Of course, scheduling can also be used for security by programming lights to go on and off while you're on holiday. 
but an observer could soon spot that routine and realize that no one's home. So you can enable a function called Smart Away. Now you'll find this in the settings under arriving slash leaving home, and you can assign different lights to activate on Smart Away. So if I click Smart Away down the bottom here and select some lights to include, so I'm gonna use the main lights in the living room. If I then put a tick in the top right corner, and I'm happy with that, I can either assign that a schedule to start and to finish, or I can turn it on manually. So if I now go back to my scenes menu, you can see down the bottom there, I've got the smart away option that I can trigger. Then when activated, the assigned lights will turn on and off at random times, potentially making for a more effective deterrent. Now, if we go back into the same menu we were in before, so go to settings and arriving slash leaving home, we'll find further options here. So this can be programmed to respond to your phone's location. So therefore it can be activated when you leave the house with the phone in your pocket, or when you return home, it can also be triggered by your phone arriving home. And that can be programmed to initiate lots of the things that we've already looked at, whether that be lights coming on or off, or whether that be blinds going down, or perhaps even playing a song to welcome you home to. So that can either be triggered by your phone, or perhaps we could use the switch that I programmed earlier with the home and away buttons. So I could perhaps position this switch in the entrance hall to my home, program away to mean that all the lights go off, and then home to bring the lights in the entrance to full brightness, the lounge lights to a relaxing level, while closing the blinds automatically, creating a restful, cosy environment. So once again, Lutron have smashed it out of the park with their smart automation system, this time aimed at bringing reliable, expandable and flexible controls to the residential market. And one of the best features of this system is that if your home Wi-Fi goes down for some reason, you'll naturally lose the smart features like app control, Sonos and the Alexa connection, but the critical control elements such as the Picos will continue to work due to Lutron's dedicated wireless technology, Clear Connect. I think it's fair to say that the smart revolution just got a little bit smarter. Thank you very much for watching.